Hi, I'm back at my girlfriend's homestead today and she's got two guardian livestock dogs and one is a little pup she got a few weeks ago and the other one she's had for a few months now. The big one is Orson and the little one here is Priya. Priya's been with the goats for the past few weeks trying to get her trained up to uh, be good around them and uh, she's trying to train Orson right now a little bit to be good around the goats so that we can keep them in here. So we'll just show you a little bit of training the dog. And here's all the goats, they're like, what's going on here? There's another dog in here. So just try and get them used to the goats. So what's your strategy here for training uh, Orson? <laughs> Priya's trying to help. <laughs> that she is. I'm trying to get him used to the idea that it's a good thing not to want to chase them and play with them when they run because that's what he wants to do that's for sure he's like ooh look at the other little dogs over there we can play with and how long do you think that's going to take I have no idea hopefully not hopefully not a while hopefully not too long though right I hope not hope not yeah he's gotten used to not chasing and barking at four wheelers within a month or so so hopefully well it only took a month right yeah. Go see how this goes today and see how he fares up with them. The goats aren't too sure about that. They're okay with the small dog, but the big one, they're like, ooh, what is he doing here? So I guess he's just checking them out, seeing what's going on. And Good boy. Good we, might boy. Be we might be having Priya training Orson because she's been around the goats Good more. Boy. There you go, bribery with liver treats always helps out, I guess, right? Okay, we'll come back in a bit and see how this is going. I guess we should ask, what kind of dog is he? He's a Kuvas. A Kuvas, so why do Hungarian livestock guardian breed. Why did you choose him over uh, other breeds? They're a little more um, people friendly than most livestock guardian breeds. So um, for wanting a farm stand to sell things from the farm eventually will be more beneficial because we'll have people coming on the property. And then he, um, they're also a little more bred for smaller acreage and things where Great Pyrenees tend to wander farther because they're bred for like thousands of acres, whereas Kuvas are a little more meant for smaller hobby farms and staying a little closer to home. Cool. That's good then. So hopefully we can get them going well. And uh, I guess one thing we should mention to you, you were part of a documentary, weren't you? Yeah. How was that? Um, it was interesting. Oh, Orson, hi Orson. Yeah. It's down. Down. There you go. Good down. Boy. Good. Good, boy. good. There you go. Oh, no. Down down there you go i know all my hands are full right now so i can't pet you <laughs> so orson didn't like me whole much at the start but now he's pretty good he comes up for pets every day now right so yeah documentary so um, tell us about that a little bit and then maybe we'll put the link in the bottom so people can watch it it's called you're the goat and it was on cbc docs and cbc gem and uh yeah how were you chosen for that they chose five families that show at different goat shows on and um, followed our journey to the royal winter fair and that's it cool and what what do you think of the outcome of the documentary how'd you enjoy it uh, we enjoyed it i think it was a good opportunity to put a positive spin on the farm world and agriculture that you don't normally see on TV. Usually they tend to bring out the negative and it's more things like PETA and activist organizations that talk about agriculture. So I think it, that was why most of the breeders wanted to be a part of it, that it was a, an opportunity for us to talk about the positives and all of the things that we love about the goat world and um, how much we care about our animals and how we look after them and stuff. So. I think it was a positive. Cool. All right.
Well, we'll post the link in the bottom for you guys to check it out. Um, it's only about 45 minutes long and it was uh, pretty cool to see. Oh, here we go. We got Orson's uh, trying to figure things out again here with the goats. It's a great day to be doing this. It's minus 12 out. Minus 16. <laughs> Close enough. When it's that cold, it's cold. Oh. He's a pretty strong dog too. You gotta use your muscles to uh... He's a pretty strong dog. He's about to pull. If that was me, I'd be dragging on my stomach by now. So are you gonna have to do this every day for a little bit till he gets used to it? Yeah? Yep, that's the goal. How long do you plan on spending every day with him doing this? As long as ah, ah, ah. No, we don't take. No. See he's pretty good when you tell him no, he gets down right away. Good boy. Ah, ah. Mm -hmm. You've been letting him off the leashes now, right? Yep. This is so you've been, uh, so we've got the dogs outside now. First and off. So we've had them off the leashes out here for training. It's been a while since we've had them out. And how's that working out so far? Um, he's doing really well with boundaries and stuff. He's just not quite ready to be in with the goats. He gets a little overexcited when they're running and playing, but yeah, um, he's doing really well with the field and the property in general. Down, Arson. Down. He's and been guarding when he hears things at night. Yeah, he's been too, being, doing pretty good running around the property marking his territory and now Priya's been following him so it's going well here comes the old pooch hey little pooch how you doing so there he is doing his stuff there's a fox hole up there too fox burrow we found that he went up and hung out for one day and don't know if the foxes are there anymore because uh I haven't seen any paths of the feet walking around there at all, which is a good thing because we have chickens. The foxes like to eat the chickens. So, yeah, it's going well. So there you go, just a quick little video on training the dogs, getting them used to their territory and uh, the animals, and all that fun stuff. So I hope you guys are having a great day out there. It's pretty chilly today here. It's like minus 15 out. The sun is shining, blue skies. Can't get much better than that. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up and we'll see you out there. Have a great day.